Hi, I'm Nick Schwalich with 3D Systems. Today I'm here to talk to you about Capture for SolidWorks. This is a plug-in for your existing seat of SolidWorks. The first thing is the Capture Scanner. This is a blue light scanner that takes one megapixel shots. The field of view is 180 millimeters deep from here to here. At the front, the field of view is 172 millimeters diagonal or 124 by 124 millimeters. At the back of the field of view, it's 260 millimeters diagonal or 192 by 175 millimeters. So it's a great size for shooting desktop sized parts and bringing the data into SOLIDWORKS. Next, what I'll do is I'll show scanning and then I'll show how to reverse engineer with the data and we'll create a nice design from scan data. So the first thing to do is we hit connect and that connects to the scanner. Again, this is a plug-in for SOLIDWORKS. We'll take each shot of the part and bring those into the software. So we can see the light is on now and we're connected. And now we'll hit the scan button. The dialog comes up, very easy to use, very customer focused. The picture here shows us the exposure. So where it's red, it's a little too bright. And where it's colored, we can capture adequate data. What I'll do now is I'll hit scan and we're going to take a shot. Next, we'll rotate the part slightly, and we'll take a second shot. We can see the scan shows up on the screen, and as we take the next shot, the geometry of the model will help align the scans. Each shot takes about 0.3 seconds, so it's a very fast scanner. After we take a few shots, we'll begin our, our design session and reverse engineer this. For demonstration's sake, we took three scans, but you may want to take more shots to acquire more data. Please keep in mind, you can model with incomplete scan data. Now we'll pick the three scans and we'll combine those using the merge command. This, should, this is a familiar command from GMagic Studio. It will combine all the scans together. We can choose what method of, uh, what format to output. We can also choose whether we want to do noise reduction and whether we want to reduce the number of triangles. In this case, each shot, you know, being one megapixel is about two million triangles. So we're going to reduce it down to a million total which will make this a much more manageable size. So we can see here on the screen now we have a blue mesh object. The next thing is we'll go ahead and create some regions. The regions allow us to do selections based on the geometry of the part. The regions use curvature and geometry. As you can see here, we have a couple pink areas, blue areas, and each color is basically showing us that we have different areas. Now that we've completed our scan and we've detected regions, we're going to start fitting CAD geometry to this. The process is going to consist of selection and fitting. The first thing that we'll do is we'll create a extrusion to define the main body of this part. This is a standard CAD activity that CAD users are going to be familiar with. So what I'll do is I'll go into Fit Rotational and we're going to select the regions that we want to use. So I'll drag my mouse across those. Then I'll come down here and I'll do another selection. And then we'll use a tool called Optimize Selection to fine tune that and throw in any extraneous data. What we'd like is a nice, consistent set of revolutions here. And we can see we have the top section, we have the bottom section. All done in one shot, very easy from the scan. You can see it's not continuous. We don't have a full scan, but we're able to complete and create a nice parametric solid model from this. Okay, we have the top section here. And then we can go ahead and repeat that process a few more times and select different geometry types that we'd like to create. So you can see it's very simple. We select a region and hit the checkbox and we create a piece of geometry. What I'll do now is I'll hide the scan and I'll array the geometry around that main rotational axis. We're going to do that because that's a standard activity. Again, it's a CAD type tool that users are going to do over and over again to create the models. So all we need to do is hit the glasses and hide that. And now we'll go ahead and pick the circular pattern tool. We'll pick what we'd like to rotate it around, and then we'll pick the body we'd like to array. So here we go. We have the start of this model, and you go through this process several more times to extract each bit of geometry that you'd like. So as we go further, we'll have this finished model here. You can see the bottom and the top have been combined. We have some very complex sweeps and arrays and revolves. This is all done with a partial scan of the part here with Geomagic Capture for SOLIDWORKS.
So this is Capture for SolidWorks. Again, this is a plug-in for an existing seed of SolidWorks that your customers already have. And with this, they get the, the device and the plug-in. Thank you. Again, I'm Nick Schwalich for 3D Systems.